Hello everybody, video here for you today. Here are some pictures and news via the Curse of Oak Island and Food Network host Noah Capp's Instagram account. Food Network host Noah Capp recently visited Oak Island, which he also did the previous two years. First up is this stacked wood. He does not specify location or tell whether it's a previous find or new. No one talks to metal detection expert Gary Drayton, who reveals that his daughter Katya will be metal detecting on the island this year with him. He also says that his top pocket has been very busy. He puts only the best finds in his top pocket. Speaking of finds, there's something behind the camera Noah is not allowed to show. They are on lot 15, site of the pirate piles or stone carns linked to the Knights Templar by Professor Caspani via Astroarchaeology. Here Noah is approaching the shore of Lot 5. Jack Bakley says they have found more things underground on Lot 5, and he still thinks there are other structures to be found there. To his left is something not allowed to be shown to us. Just out of the picture to the left is head archaeologist Laird Niven talking to the group behind. Noah points out that there are no cameras there filming the work. What we were not allowed to see is perhaps halfway between the top red dot, the formerly round feature, now a different shape, but I think they still call it the round feature, and the water. Further inland on Lot 5, there are two people sifting spoils. On the way to the money pit, Noah stops by Borehole 10X, which is not covered. So he shows us inside. At the money pit area, you can see the yellow garden shaft platform, as well as a new drilling operation behind it. This area is to the west and covering further north than the platform, and is where, as of the Season 11 finale, the team was planning to grade down and make flat like the rest of the money pit area so that they can drill boreholes first and then sink caissons if the drilling reveals anything promising. Surveyor Steve Guptel is there in the dark clothing. There are again no cameras filming this drilling operation. Charles Parkhouse is overseeing it. This drilling operation appears to be at approximately C13 on this grid. To find C13, start at the number 13, which is A13, then go one square down, which is B13, and then imagine one more square down for C13. The drillers have a core bag for Charles. Noah got to cut it open, but I didn't include a picture since it was just dry till. Noah heads to the shore from what I think is the top of the swamp to the left of the Nolan driveway. Shout out Zig, who would know for sure. Rick is standing on the right side in front of the excavator. The excavator gets to work here. Perhaps this is the north side possible dam structure that they hadn't followed up on since needing a permit to dig deeper. They have found structures on both the south and north side of the swamp. Fred Nolan believed that there were once two islands and that a ship was sailed in between them and sunk. Then it was covered up, building the dams and manipulating the area in between into what we now see as the swamp. Noah thinks they have found something. Another location it could be is part of the expanded tree of life that includes the stones of Nolan's Cross. Perhaps one of the top two there that are near the shore. Mm -hmm. 
nearer to the southern shore, Noah said the swamp is as dry as he has ever seen it. The shot appears to be more near the eye of the swamp. And finally, this is the anchor stone near the South Shore Road. It is toppled on its side for some reason. I'll be continuing retro no cap recaps of seasons 7 and 8 during the summer and early fall. All of the other episodes are already done and are in my Oak Island playlist above left. Season 12 will most likely start airing in November of 2024. I'm also doing retro no cap recaps of The Secret of Skinwalker Ranch seasons 1 through 4. Part of season 1 and all of season 5 are already done and are in that playlist in the above right. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. Siempre avanti.